I believe we're live now. Great. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Property Development Australia, welcome to the business of property. And we have a special, this is a special edition. Uh, usually it's a, it's a Tuesday evening, um, but seeing that so many people are working from home, we decided we'd have to interrupt your, your daytime activity, a special guest, um, Rob Curry from Archistar and David Hunt, also from Archistar, um, to present to us um, how to find feasible sites in literally minutes. Um, and Rob, welcome. Uh, David, also welcome to the business of property. Um, I'm going to give a little bit of a spiel about you, Rob, just in case anyone is not aware. Um, Rob, let me just see. Rob is uh, the co-founder of Archistar.ai, uh, which is the world's leading generative design platform for the property industry. Um, prior to joining Archistar, uh, Rob was a best-selling author, keynote speaker, and wildly successful um, marketer listed by Startup Australia as one of Australia's top 50 entrepreneurs. That's very exciting. Um, Rob is also the company's secretary and heads up major, major partnerships, investor relations and core company operations. Welcome, Rob. Um, this is really exciting to have because one of the biggest pain points for our developers, and we've got close to almost 5,000 in Property Development Australia, the biggest pain point is research. Um, so tell us a little bit about Archistar. Yeah, well, I suppose um, that's one of the main reasons that we put together the platform because we originally started as a, an architectural design software company and, um, and did a lot of training courses around that. We found mm -hmm. that actually finding the sites in the first place was quite often the hardest part. Mm -hmm. And so we put a lot of resource and energy into, into sorting that out. Okay, so so that's so it, it wasn't even the first thing that you uh, that how it came about. It wasn't the idea of solving this problem of research. It it evolved from something else. Yeah, it did. Yeah. So basically, um, I've got a bit of a PowerPoint presentation which I can run through as well. But yeah, um, yeah, but great. yeah, yeah. So do you want me to run through that, Cheryl? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that so we can find out a little bit more about Archistar and how powerful it is because I know we I use it and I use it for my clients. Um, and it really is the Rolls Royce of, of property development software. Yeah, great. Okay, well, I'll just um, I'll share my screen and yeah. then um, we can take a look. Great. So while you're doing that, I guess the, we'll have this presentation and everyone that has any particular questions, um, we'll sort of address those at the end of the presentation um, and, and we can go through. So just put them in the comments um, and I'll read through them towards the end. That's great. All right. Just checking if you can see my screen. Okay, Cheryl? I sure can. All right. So um, basically, the way we got started um, was work with a number of commercial partners um, to include a lot of their data on our platform. So we work very closely with Nearmap, CoreLogic, Cordell, Domain, and commercial real estate. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of top clients have signed up as well to start using Archistar. So you've got you know a lot of the top real estate agents, a lot of the top property developers, a lot of the top government departments um, and even a lot of top architecture and engineering firms are all mm. clients of Archistar, which is really good. Yeah. Um, this is me. Um, so, yes, I'm the co-founder of Archistar and this is Ben. Ben's my brother. He's the founder and, and CEO of Archistar. And so where it all started was Ben was originally um, a registered architect and he's got you know a number of degrees and a PhD. Um, but basically, Ben started off as a lecturer and a keynote speaker um, and a consultant for a lot of the big firms. And we created um, a platform called Archistar Academy. This is about five years ago. So Ben was teaching, you know, how to be a, a generative designer and how to be an expert in digital architecture and engineering. And th the Academy still runs really positively today. We, we have an offer where people can get access for 30 days for no charge to use it. And yeah, it's, um, it, it does really well with a lot of universities globally and a lot of big corporates. But then, um, People started asking us, you know, can you start to um, build some software for us, you know, rather than us learning how to do it. Um, so basically, we built um, a couple of years ago, we built a platform called Archistar Property, where essentially you can click on any block of land around Australia 
and you can generate building designs um, that you know that kind of correspond with council regulations. But what we found is that you know the building designs were just one piece of the puzzle because mm. there was a whole big phase around it, like you mentioned before, Cheryl, about research and acquisition um, that were very important that come before the building designs. And we also found out that there was a whole lot of different market segments that were also interested in what we were doing. So it went all the way from architects um, to, to government department and to data and finance as well. And then when you look at the stats, there's a significant amount of construction happening daily. Like you've got you know, 13,000 buildings being built every single day across the planet. And you know, a lot of that is still very inefficient and has been do done the same way um, that has been done 50 or 100 years ago. So we're all about trying to make this whole design cycle a lot faster. And uh, we're, we're very keen to shift the curve. So basically the current curve looks a bit like this, this gray, this gray curve here, where it's very heavy in construction documentation, then it flattens out um, after that. We're trying to bring that earlier. So basically we're trying to put the hands of the control um, in the developer's hands at that early stage where they can test out different designs, find sites, play with some feasibilities, and do a lot of the grunt work up front so that you know there's less to do later, which is which is less expensive and a lot faster. And so the four key pieces of technology are um, helping developers to find and assess sites, to generate building designs, to analyze those designs um, and the feasibilities, and then to work on government compliance. And so we've spent 80,000 man hours to source and document all the planning rules from every government department in Australia into a single database. Never been done before around the world. First time this has been done. So there's planning rules associated with 95% of properties. The only part that's not covered is far north Queensland. So if you take a look at the platform, um, the first thing that we do is when you click on any block of land, you get all this information about the property and uh, what you can and can't do on there. Then the next thing that you can do is to find off-market sites. So basically, if you're looking, um, if you've got a certain criteria of sites that you're looking for, you can put in your criteria, and then it, all these sites that you're looking for um, that are matched to that come up in red, which is really helpful if you're looking for off-market sites. The next part is the quick estimate. So again, what, you can either use Archisar's default settings or put in your own default settings and you'll get a residual land value for every block of land that you click on. So basically that tells you, you know, based on um, your assumptions that you put in, how much you should pay for the block of land to get a 20% developer margin. We also include zoning, heritage layers, flood, bushfire, you know, contours, and the current 3D context. So you can see what's happening around the area. We also include um, the suburb insights from domain. So you can see the comparable sales. The market activity from CoreLogic, again, so you can see what's for rent, what's for sale in the local area. That really helps when you're putting together your feasibilities. A deep linkage into RP data. So if you're already an RP data subscriber, you can see more information about a property inside RP data. The commercial real estate listing, so you can see what offices and retail are for rent and for sale. And then you've got the development activity. So basically, you can see all the DAs um, that are in an area, which is really helpful. The next part is near map. So near map's really powerful when you want to see the current, um, like what's there right now. So near map's very high definition aerial imagery, and it's updated every couple of months. Um, we've also got the generative design engine. So this is basically um, where you click on a block of land anywhere around Australia. You can use Archisar settings, or you can put in your own settings, and it will generate building concepts. Um, it does land subdivisions, it does townhouses, it does apartments, it does um, you know, mixed use and commercial buildings as well. You can also export your designs into CAD or into BIM, 3D BIM, uh, for your architect to work on further. We do a pretty comprehensive um, design analytics on each particular site. So you get a sunlight analysis, you get a cross ventilation analysis, uh, static feasibility showing you like how profitable a site is. You get to see commercial buildings as well. So that that really helps when you're looking to do a, an office tower or retail on the ground floor and some office above it. You can also see there's a shadow compliance here as well. So this shows you shadows, um, the building separations, even car parks are included. So we, we can generate car park layouts. 
Um, so what I thought would be helpful is if we did a case study. I've picked Rudy Hill in New South Wales to start with. And so we're going to do some townhouses here. So basically, we're looking at all the zoning um, in Rudy Hill. And then we can see here that um, I'll, I click the townhouse button, and this shows you all the areas where you can do townhouses in Rudy Hill. And we can see here that there's a lot of vacant land here, and it's also right next to um, an area where there's been townhouses built. So this is a good opportunity for us to take a look at. So when we look at the planning rules, we can see that townhouses are allowed, and we can see we've got a 10 meter building height and a, and a six meter setback at the front. So then we check the comparable sales. So I can see here that um, you know, a three bedroom townhouse down the road, top of $725,000, that's a good comparable sale. Then I can see that a neighbor's building 30 townhouses in DA when I turn on the DA tab for $5.8 million. And that's been that's under construction. So that's good to know. So when I click on this block of land and I turn on near map, I can see um, that you know there's a whole bit of vacant land there. And I get that instant quick estimate to tell me that the residual land value is $4.4 million for this block of land. So that's the most I can pay. Um, Arkansas is estimating off 15 townhouses in here. And I can pay 4.4 million. So then we can run the design options and you can see here that I've got 14 on here. So I've been a little bit less aggressive than the 15 estimate, but you could be more aggressive and even get 16 on here. So you could, but I'm being conservative. I want to make sure I get it through council. But again, um, if you look at the comparable um, lot sizes around that, you know, there could be a case to argue you may be able to get 16 on this block. Sorry, Rob, can I interrupt? Yeah. So just with that, in terms of getting the, the prices uh, for that quick feasibility that you had, does Archistar extract that automatically itself? No, so um, we looked at different ways to do that. So basically, um, we, we do require you to take a look at the surrounding properties around and make mm -hmm. a decision. Mm -hmm. We do summarise it for you, though. So I haven't got the slide here, but when you click on this Suburb Insights button, Mm. We sh we've got like a really nice bar graph that goes all the way along that shows you all the prices for each um, different configuration in a suburb. So we'll say for three bedroom houses, they start at 400,000, they go to a million, and here's all the different lines along the way. So you can see where the majority are selling for. Mm. Okay, that's, an, that's in Domain Suburb Insights. Yeah, and also in CoreLogic Suburb Insights as well. Okay, all right. Yeah, so that's the best way we could do it because we tried mm. using things like the median, but the mm. median's quite often wrong. Mm. You know? That's yeah, right. Yeah, so uh, the median is normally too low because you're building new stock, not rather okay. than existing stock. Correct. So, so if, if you you're pick looking the highest, yeah. yeah, the highest isn't good either because it might be a penthouse. You know, so yes. yes. Yeah, so, so that's we, the best way we thought we could do it. Okay, so still go in, go use either one of the suburb insights for CoreLogic or Domain to extract. Yes. Yeah. New yeah, stock, uh, student that's stock right. prices. Yeah. yeah, you want to look, because then you see the full range of how much things are selling for mm. um, all the way through, and then you pick the one that seems to be the most realistic. And you can also look at the individual listings as well, like I have here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, now we're going to do an apartment in Miranda. This is also in New South Wales, um, in the south. So we've gone from west to south. So you can see here, we turn on the zoning map, we can see there's a whole stack of R4 high density residential here, which is helpful. We push the apartment button, we can see that we can build apartments here. I then turn on near map and I can see there's a, this has all been knocked down here. So this looks like a good, um, a good site. It's already being built, but we'll use this one as an example. So when I get more information about um, this combined block of land, I can see that you know, it's got a floor space ratio of two to one. I can build 25 meters um, and I've got some setbacks here as well. So then I also check comparable sales. So I can see just my next door neighbor is selling a two bedroom uh, for 730,000. So that's good to know as a comparable. And then we look at the DA on that block of land and we can see they're building two buildings with 107 units. DA approved, eight stories, 44.6 million, which is good to know. Um, we run the quick feasibility. We can see we can pay 4.4 million for that block of land and we estimate 107 apartments. So then we generate the options and you can see here, we've got two towers. Um, like the DA, we've got uh, the two towers and one is um, one story bigger than the other one, which is good to know. And we've got a very similar to mix to what they achieved as well. Mm. So really good result there and, and very quick. Um, then we run the sunlight analysis. So we can see here that um, you're getting you know, a whole stack of sunlight to all these different apartments. 
and the cross ventilation analysis as well. So you can see all these ones are in blue are cross ventilated. And then you've got the shadow um, survey as well. So um, yeah, Cheryl, I thought I might show a quick two minute video. Um, this video is a 10 minute video, but we sped it up five times so that you can see it all in two minutes. And it shows inside the platform um, live. This is, a, this is a site in Perth, but we're gonna do a small apartment block. So right now we're doing that quick estimate. Um, we've turned on near map. We're also looking through all the recent sales and recent listings. This is that suburb insights one, Cheryl, where you get to see um, all the different numbers in the suburb. Okay. Yep. Yep. Now we're looking at um, the DAs and seeing what's involved with each of the DAs. And so now we're going to do a, a building generation. So we've put in some settings there to generate the buildings based in that area. And you can see that when we turn on the existing 3D context that we're generating you know, very close to what's, um, what's around. So that's that. Um, and then we've also produced a, a development due diligence report. So this is a very comprehensive report for any different site that you look at. It can go up to 30 pages and it includes all the information about a site that you'll need. Um, and this can be white labeled as well. So if you need to present this to you know, a vendor or a bank um, or, or anybody else, you can label it um, with your own logo. You take out the Archisite logo and put your own logo in here. Mm. And you can customize the report as well. So you can choose what you want and don't want inside um, the platform. All right. Um, so, Brilliant. yeah, that's that. And I thought um, we could, um, you know, we did speak about giving a special offer for um, all the PDA members. Yes. Excellent. Fantastic. Yeah. What's the so, big deal? <laughs> yeah, we called it the big deal. Um, so basically, um, it, it's a very, very substantial offer. So normally um, on a month to month basis, we've got a growth package, which is what most new investors start with. That's 495 plus GST. Um, today, we're doing it just about half price. So it's $295 a month plus GST. Yeah, that's brilliant. Okay. Yeah. And so they can go to just archisar.ai slash PDA to get access to that special price point. Okay. So talk me through what's included in that, please, Rob. Yeah. So it's very comprehensive. So um, it's for one login and for one state. So if you okay. need more logins or more states, just let our team know. You can fill in that form um, on the Archistar AI slash PDA web page and we're happy to, to talk to you and work out a package that works um, and definitely look after you if they need more users or more states. Okay. Um, it includes, yeah, it includes everything that we showed today. So the platform, including the HD imagery, the domain data, the commercial real estate data, the core logic data, and the, the parametric design generators. So it's a comprehensive offer and it's a great start for people just getting started with the platform. Fantastic. And, and I believe that it's no, there's no lock-in for that for the That's first correct. few months yes yeah so there's no lock-in you can just um do it month to month and see how you go okay um, some people um have asked for a lock-in because they want to keep the price at this low rate yes and so yeah and we're happy to do that so if but there's no obligation but if you said look rob i want to kind of lock it in for 12 months or, or two or three years um so i keep that really good rate all the way yes. through then definitely would be happy to, to do that yeah, fantastic. Okay, so one one login, one state. So if it's New South Wales is where you're doing it, yeah, you you want to pick that. And if you want more, um, then obviously we can talk about what what that extra cost will will be. Um, okay, so let's go in terms. So that's a really good price because I know it's it's generally close to the five hundred a month. Yeah, and there's yeah. even you know bigger packages that you know the bigger developers pay a lot more than that as well. So okay, it's um yeah because the reason why we're able to get to this price is because we've spoken to our third party partners and they've given a special discount um yes. for your members. So excellent. No, yeah, we're able to pass that on. That's fabulous. Um, there's a question here. How about if you have RP data already? Yeah, that's great. So basically, that means that you can have a deep link into RP data. So basically, when you're on a property inside Archistar, you can then click directly into RP Data and see that property in a lot more detail. So it integrates beautifully with RP Data. 
Okay. So does it open up RP data or is that information all still sitting in the platform? So th the majority of the information is inside Archistar platform. Um, okay. To see ownership details, you need to go onto RP data because we're not authorized to show them on our platform. But a lot okay. of our, like if you look at the sold history and, you know, some photos of the property and things like that, they're all shown yes. inside Archistar. But yeah, to get the ownership information, you'll need to go um, click through to RP data. Okay. Okay, brilliant, brilliant. Um, so I guess a, a few questions uh, in terms of using using the software there. So I think it's it's going to be definitely useful here. Um, uh, if we can run through an example, I'd like to understand, you know, you've got thousands of users now and, and you've been around for two years, I mean, in terms of launching this this particular platform, which is fantastic. What are, what are the big the big players using it for and how accurate is your modeling? Yeah, so um, two great questions. So the big players are using it for two things. Um, they're using it to supercharge their analysis of sites. So they really want to research a lot of sites very quickly mm. Mm. Um, without having to, to drive around and to go out and, you know, with things the way they are now, um, it's getting more important to be able to do all this from your desktop or, you know, or from home. So mm. basically they're using this as like a digital um, you know, like, kind of like a digital door knocking tool, essentially. You know, it's, like, it's kind of like going through as many sites as you can, mm. doing a quick feasibility, um, and then, you know, working out which ones to approach. So it's, it's really saving them a lot of time with their due diligence and approaches. Mm. And then also with, um, with generating some initial concept designs, because, you know, quite often they don't um, want to bother their architect friends at this Yes. Early stage, you know, they <laughs> might say, because, you know, you might be looking at 20 sites at the same time. Yeah. So you can't, you know, it's not really fair to bother your architect for free, you know, for, to look yes, at 20 sites course. for free. Yeah. yeah. So they'll use it at this early stage. And then once they find a site they like, then they'll hit up the architect and say, okay, Mr. Architect, um, I want to, I, I really like this. I've done a preliminary analysis. Here you go. Yes. Yeah, can you do a more detailed analysis for me? Yeah, okay. So you still have to go through and see if you've got a site that you're looking at. Um, I mean, is it possible to sort of say, I've got these 20 sites, if I put it into an Excel spreadsheet and upload it into Archistar, can it miraculously do some high-level numbers for us? Yeah, so um, it's even easier than that. So like, let's oh. say you have 20 sites, you yes. just go, like you just type in those 20 sites into Archistar. Remember how we had that one-click residual land value? Yes. Yeah. So that's um that's basically it. So you can get a feasibility done with literally one click. It's not. Don't get me wrong. It's not like an estate master fifty page, um, you know. But yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't want that. Yes. Yeah. You don't want that anyway. You just want a simple one page. It's, it's like replacing the back of an envelope. Like if you saw a site, and you know, you write on the back of an envelope, you know, the key kind of ten numbers you need to think about. Um, it replaces that. Okay. Can I do you? And if it's okay, hold on. Um. All right. And so, I mean, in the current climate, we're going to have more and more opportunities. Obviously, we're, we're going through some challenging times at the moment, but we've got uh, a lot of developers and investors who, who are preparing themselves um, and keeping an eye on the market. And it's, it, this is definitely going to be a tool which will allow um, developers to find these opportunities, particularly the off-market ones, like you're saying. I think you mentioned that a few times that it's it's a really good tool to be able to assess almost street by street or suburb by suburb yeah totally how to how to do that can i can i share with you my archistar page and if you can just show me where that quick analysis button is yeah i've got it on here actually I'll oh, show okay you. yeah um, you yeah i'll pop the slide yes. to save you opening it up excellent it is here okay so if you can see this we've just clicked on a block of land and on the and then we've clicked the estimate button here. Oh, okay, yes. Okay, and then it's come up with a um, a, a very quick feasibility in real time. Yeah. And we've got a residual land value. Oh, okay, brilliant. And you can get more detail around that as well. I'll show you another slide. I'll just load it up, and you can see um, in more detail what that looks like. Okay, so this was the site that we're looking at in in uh, Miranda, that apartment site. So. Yeah. This gives you, when you click the view breakdown button, it breaks it down in more detail. So it shows you that we've got $78 million in revenue with 107 dwellings at 730000 And then it takes out all the costs and then lets you know how much is left at the end um, that you can pay. 
to get your twenty percent uh, margin. Brilliant. Okay, and so this is extracted. So, in terms of what they use for the sales revenue, and this goes back to that question again. Yeah. Is it is it extracting the medium price or no, has so it what done I a did, special I, I, way? I, yeah, I put that number in myself. So I'll show you how I did that. Um, just pulling it up here on the screen. Um, so oh, basically, well, okay, yep. yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so what I did, I, I clicked domain. And I saw that there was this site here, University Road Miranda, that was down the road selling for 730000 for a two-bedroom, two-bathroom. So I've used that as my base price because it's a brand new apartment down, down the road from me. Hmm. Yeah. So that's what I've done. I've looked at the comparable sale price. Um, but also remember on Domain and CoreLogic, you've got that whole histogram of you know, every right. single sale price and how many yeah. are selling at different prices. So yeah. that's always a good way to, to work it out as well. Okay, so if I need to go through 10 different sites and I say I don't have 10 hours to do this, the easiest way is to go into the Estimates tab. Yep. And, and just click on any property. And click on any any property. What if I've got a specific address? Where do I put that in? Yep, so you would click on this search button. It's a little bit cut off here, but you click on the search button up the top and then type okay. in the address. Yeah. All right, and then you can and then you can go to estimates and then put yeah. In. If you want to go to like ten Smith Street, Parramatta, you just click that, and then um then it'd come up, and then you would have your estimate here, and then if you want to change any of your defaults for a different suburb, you click edit defaults and you just change the number. So if you want to make it six hundred thousand instead of seven hundred and thirty. Okay, edit defaults. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Excellent. All right. So that's probably, uh, like I said the the GRV is probably the one which you have to play around a little bit more. Yeah, and it's um, it's one of those things where there's no exact science around it. Like it's always going to be mm. your estimate as to what you mm. think it will sell for. You got, obviously mm. you want to look at the market data, so you're making a, mm. an informed decision there. Mm. But it's one of those things that every property developer has to make a decision on, don't you? Yeah, and so with the edit defaults, you can you adjust the number of dwellings as well, the estimate number? You can, of yeah, because okay. you can change the size and so you can change all of that. Okay, Wonderful. And like I said, this is just a quick estimate. What does that assume in terms of basement, no basement? Yep. So this will just assume, so th we've got two different types of feasibilities. This one's called the quick estimate. So the quick estimate just has a whole, you just get a big number. You just do a number for um, development costs, essentially. You know, okay. so you want, so you, you bump, like I so said, we normally do, like we normally want a 20% um profit margin, you know, at 20% other development costs and um, the cost of construction. So normally we, we apply a square meter rate across the whole um, property. So if there's, you know, a thousand square meters of gross floor area and you might say it's, you know, $3,000 a square meter to construct apartments. So that'd be a okay. $3 million um, construction costs. All righty. Excellent. Yeah. So it, it really is... Um, uh, like I said, it, it, it cuts down the amount of time. Uh, you can look at the layers where previously you would have had to go to three different sources to find out your zoning, bushfire, a whole lot of things. One of the things I'm really excited to see, and when I know when, when, when I met you two years ago, just before you launched, I think it was probably the week before you guys launched, you couldn't do subdivisions Mm, at yeah, the time. now we can. And now you can. So um, can we just quickly talk about that with subdivisions? Uh, does it have the ability to, to pick up, you know, the, the easements or everything else? Or does it just look at, all right, this is the rectangular piece of land, amalgamated site, how many blocks I can, I can do on that? So I saw some... You did have a slide for subdivisions before. Yeah. So subdivisions are going really well. Um, essentially, um, right now, it won't take into account easements. Mm. But in the future, we're going to let you custom draw on the map. So essentially, like on this particular site, if you want to subdivide this one, not that you would, it's too small, but let's say there was an easement running, you know, through the middle, right? Mm. So you could mm. you could draw a line on that easement and say, you know, this is an easement. And then we would we would design the building around that easement. Yeah, so okay. You, be able, or like there might be like a flood zone right in the middle. So yes. you might draw a circle around the flood zone in the middle and then we'll, we'll design it around that. So basically you'll be able to exclude zones in the near future. Yeah, so if you've got um, uh, transmission transmission lines, um, yeah. a whole bushfire and, and that sort of – okay, excellent. That's excellent. 
well, that's a step in in the right direction. In any case, um, definitely, yeah. Which is, which is which is fabulous, excellent. Well, let me see if there's any questions here. Um, Daniel Daniel was saying, if he's got RP data, does he need to pay twice? No, you don't. So if you've got RP data ready, that's perfect. So you just leave that as is, mm. and then um, the two ninety five off we have today um, means that you can also see the RP data like the deep linkage from the Archistar to the RP data platform. Okay. So does that mean that people have to have RTP data to see the add-on? No, you don't. So basically, if you don't have RP data, just to make it clear, yeah. um, I'll pop a slide so you can see that what you'll see. Okay. If you don't have RP data ready, you'll still see all these dots on the map. Okay. And you'll still see all these comparable sales and you'll get all that suburb um, insights information here as well. So okay. you'll still get all that on the map. But you just won't be able to click through and then see that individual property inside RP data. That's the only right. difference. Okay. Okay. So if you if you want to be able to to open it up where it says um, when it was sold and um, the you'll other still see the sold information. You'll still see sold information on our platform. Okay. You just won't see the ownership information. Okay. All right. So there's yeah. still there's still quite a bit of information attached to that. Which is excellent. Yeah, just the main thing that you miss out on is the, the ownership details. So you'll need to, you'll still need to keep an RP data subscription. Okay, all right. So um, Dan, your uh, the answer to that question is you can still keep your RP data. Um, this is this is on top of that, and you get a whole lot of other functions as part of that. Cordell is in, in itself um, a really powerful tool, and and also having near map. I mean, if you were to purchase all these um separately what what could someone because you've got near maps and cordell um, yeah. and rp data if you broke that up what would that be oh we, we did some numbers on this one so it could be over one thousand three hundred dollars a month holy you know? it'd be yeah like quite quite easily um so it's a significant saving having all these all this data inside one platform for sure yeah and in one yeah. spot yeah, definitely. Uh, which means you're also saving on computer screens. <laughs> yeah, and I think the main thing is the time saving. So, yes. you know, because most developers um, have a shortage of time because you're always looking at more sites than what you can do. So mm. basically, like, if anything we can do to help shortcut your time and help you save time, especially in this environment, like there's going to be a whole stack of, you know, sites that come on the market um, and you've got to kind of analyze very quickly which one do you want to go for because some of them might be a fire sale and you haven't got very long to make a decision on it. So the, the faster we can help you analyze them. And, um, you know, if with this kind of price point, if you just picked up one site extra this year than you would have otherwise, um, it more than pays for itself. Yeah, absolutely. So what sort of training and support is included? Yeah, so there's unlimited training and support. So basically we run um, webinars like this, but in a lot more detail with our customer success team. Uh, mm. three times a week so you can join any one of them but you can also contact our team anytime that you've got any questions as well um but okay. it all it's all interactive so you can contact us we've got a the support team right here in sydney and uh we yeah we give you all the training all the support you need to be successful there's no limit there's no cap on how much support you get so if someone has five different sites that they're looking at can they realistically say um customer success can you help me assess all these five yeah so definitely well the idea is you could do it yourself you would you wouldn't need yeah, us yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so um but if you've got if you've got a particular site and you're a bit stuck on it and you want um and you say hey guys can you take a look at this then of course we're always happy to take a look and, and like, we're okay. not town planners so we can't give you advice but yes we're happy to help you with any questions you've got about the system. To work, to to get used to using the yeah, system, Yeah, definitely. I'm okay. happy to help you as much as you need. Yeah, fantastic. That's really, really good to know because uh, like like with any system, I mean, the value is only if you use it, right? Um, totally. Yeah, and, you've got to use it. Yeah, yeah for sure. And, and often, um, I, I have to say, you know, in, in the two years uh, that, you know, when I first saw it and how it looks now, um, it's incredible. 
It, it really, thank you. It and really thanks for your is. support as well, Cheryl. We really, no, you, you were an early adopter of the platform. I was an early so adopter, yeah. yeah. And I have to say, there were a few things where I'm like, oh, I wish it had this. And, and, and you have, you have put it in. It's not easy. Um, yeah. It's easy for people to say, can you pop this in and can you do this? But I'm sure you've got a, a, a huge team behind you that's, that's doing all the engineering of all that. How big has the team gotten, by the way? Now there's, um, we've got about 35 staff you know, around yeah, the country. Right. Yeah. yeah. So it's grown yeah. really quickly. Um, it's been, been a really good journey. We've been fortunate to raise some venture capital. So that's helped us um, expand the team and, and grow the business as well. Okay. That's, that's really good. Um, a few more little questions before I sort of wrap up and if there aren't any other questions from, from the floor. Um, in terms of the layers that you have on the platform, um, Will do you have to pay anything else to add more layers? Can you can you customize Archistar in any way to add more things to it? Yes, yeah, so um, not on this particular package, but we have yeah. like for our bigger customers, like that pay a bit extra. Yes, we do allow them to bring in their own data sets. So if any of your customers or any of the members um, would like to add their own data, just let us know what that is. Um, okay, if it's easy, like. If it's really easy for us to add it in, then there may not be an additional charge. But if it's a bit involved and it takes a bit of technical work, yeah. we can give a quote for what that would cost to load into the system. Okay. 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 That's that's good to know. I can't even think of what else I would need to, <laughs> to load in, um, which you've already haven't thought about now. Oh, yeah. So we've got a really, uh, like I said, we've got a really, really good good offer here. Um, uh, I do know that that, that is uh great value there is that only for today or is that ongoing for um so that's a today offer okay yeah so that because it's, there's a few reasons end of the month um all the partners have come together to give this offer so okay. um yeah look in saying that like if someone can't make a decision today no problem at all we're still happy to talk to you and work out a good package for you but it won't be this okay. price unfortunately. okay all yeah. right so what i would need to um have a chat to david about is then for anyone that is has has not come on board today um sort of an ongoing price oh, so obviously if you're thinking about archistar um probably don't spend too much time thinking because the great thing is that you can have a month to month on this there's no lock-in that's um, right uh the best way to see if it's for you is to really try it out um and once you have a play around definitely you know, take advantage of all the training and support um, because, I mean, I can understand that the first time it can be a little bit sort of, you know, overwhelming because um, there's so much in it. But once you get used to it and know where to go, it, it gets a lot easier. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. All right. So um, I don't think there's any more questions for me, Rob. I think that covered a lot of the the sort of basically the, the basic general questions that that um, our community had, uh, I think, you know, there were questions previously about, you know, the cost and all of that. Um, yeah. Oh, Ash, as, sorry, some last minute ones. Is Cordell, DA and construction details included? Yes, they are. Yes. yes. And contacts if, um, oh, and so contacts. So the contacts, well. yeah, the contacts have paid with extra to get the contacts, but in this particular deal, um, all of the um, the DA information is all included. It's just that if you want the name of the developer and, and their phone number and things like that, you have to pay a bit extra. Okay. All right. Um, uh, for full month. Excellent. Okay. No, I think this is this is the pro. No, this is not the pro package. This is the growth package. This is the growth. Yeah. Okay. And the pro. What's the what's added in the pro pro package? Um, our team can kind of run that through with you, but this is more than sufficient for most developers. Okay, so if they're if they're keen on on added things, um, obviously we'll look at this and and we'll talk through with with David and the team as to what else they would like to. Yeah, add. Yeah, like they, they can um they, they can jump onto this page archistar.ai slash pda, leave their details there, and, and our team can run them through the difference between the different packages. But you know, for this kind of price point, um. Yeah. It makes sense to kind of jump on this for a month and see how you go. It covers pretty much, I would say, 90% of, of our community and their needs. Totally. All right. Perfect. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Rob. Um, yeah, it's great. Thanks a lot. Stay stay safe, stay healthy, um, 
and uh, stay sane in isolation. <laughs> I know. And we really appreciate your support and, and happy to support your community as well. No, thank you. Thank you all very, very much. I know that uh, we spent a bit of time working through what would be the ideal sort of um, packaging inclusions for for the group, um, really trying to understand what the needs and the pain points are. And I think we've really, really covered on that. So uh, definitely anyone that's that's keen on on Archistar, just try it. Try it for the month. Um, there's no lock-in. You don't have anything to lose there. Um, you're in isolation anyhow. <laughs> so so might, have, <laughs> might as well spend the time wisely playing around. Yeah, with find it. some sites. Yeah. Find some sites. <laughs> it, it is, it is a, an ideal time to be looking at sites and, and, and talking, you know, talking to people and reaching out uh, because, as you know, you know, these deals don't just sort of just turn up um, overnight there. You've got to work on them. Um, so, no, there's a there's a great information there. Uh, log into that link. I'll add it also to um, the comments uh, and, and the video comments here if anyone wants to directly head into the link there. All righty. Well, take care. Yeah, thanks so much. We'll see, you, we'll see everyone on the other side. See ya. Bye. <laughs> thanks. Thanks, David. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Cheryl. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.